Episode 14, here we go! <laughs> this is Angel Rose, your walk of cake, and welcome to another episode of Sweet Bird. Sweet. Last time we were exploring this place, and we're gonna continue this place because more needs to be done. So let's heal up a little bit. Yeah, we were in a fight with a bandit. The onyx rock candy last time. I forgot you do that! Thank you, game! I love you! Let's, let's go this way. Glory, candy, mine. Ah, dude. Dang it, I get around you. Not so much. Oh well, let's see what you got. Da, 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 da. So we're going to like, battle with a gumble and a creep. Ah. I hate that thing's face. Gumble's gonna be annoying, but this cream puff's gonna be more annoying if it starts singing the crowd. Eh, it's gonna start doing that. Oh boy. I will bite your face, I will chop you in the face. Okay, that's not very effective. Alright! You're gone. Not to attack you. Try shot, go modular. Effective, I'll bite you. I'll bite you, I'll karate chop you. Go modular, uh. Anyone see any good movies lately? <laughs> um, I saw Big Pro 6 twice. It's awesome, go see it. Actually, um, really good. It's better than Frozen. Just compare it to the previous Disney movie. Way better than Frozen. Um, fortunately, it's not going to get the, uh, the media attention serves because number one, it was not advertised up the yin yang like Frozen. Also, this movie. Also, it's got a more adult theme of loss. Um, you know, it's kind of about Hiro dealing with the loss of his older brother who dies at the beginning of the That spoiler Paul that happens at the very beginning of the movie. I also got to uh, go to Disneyland the weekend after my birthday and got to give Baymax a hug, which was awesome. why I love Disney, because you can do stuff like that. You know, I can go get my picture with Thor and have him tell me that Elsa should join the Avengers. Which, that actually happened, by the way. This is a sad thing. That was a thing that he actually said. He was like, oh, well, have you have you seen the, uh, the Ice Queen? Oh, Elsa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw her on a parade float today. Oh, have you, you, you know she does the ice power and stuff. I thought that that would be useful for the Avengers. If you see her, could you, could you let her know? <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Glorious. Um, I mean, I know, I'm pretty sure you can do that stuff at Disney World in Florida as well. Um, if you ever get the chance, go and do that stuff. Oh, dang it, Henry! yesterday while I was Christmas shopping, but I didn't see the desolation of Smut. Uh, I only saw the first Hobbit film. Um, that was two years ago, so that was when I was on Christmas break from being at AIT in Virginia for Terry Train. Literally, like, the, you know, the day I was back, uh, one of my friends met me and was like, oh, hey, I heard you're coming back today. Do you want to go see The Hobbit with me tomorrow? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So I saw it, and I liked it a lot. It was really good. Um, but I...
but I didn't. I just didn't go to see the second one. It wasn't high on my priority list. I think there were there were other movies I wanted to. See. I think there may have been some other movies I wanted to see at the time. I don't remember. But I don't. Oh, now I get the revive. Thanks. A lot. Let's see. Uh, all right. So our current has a metroid and a mince All right, let's do this. Actually, you know what? It's probably for the best that I went and healed because I was running low on power points and stuff. All in all, that was probably better. Oh, so, um, I've gotten a chance to play Hyrule Warriors. Um, as you, as many of you, as some of you may know, I am a huge Zelda fan. I love The Legend of Zelda. Actually, for Halloween this past year, I, I cosplayed as, um, Zelda from Skyward Sword specifically. It was a really fun costume to make with my grandma and... Every once in a while, I'll take off the wig and take some selfies with it because it makes it so pretty. <laughs> um, I have a lot of mixed feelings. I have a lot of mixed feelings about Hyrule Warriors. I feel that the gameplay itself is very... Oh wait, I learned a new move. The gameplay itself is very fun. Um, the gameplay itself is really fun. Um, but the story is crap, in my opinion. All that the game needed to be was the stuff that happened in the last fourth. But there was all this other stuff with Lana, yeah, that was completely unnecessary. But they put in any way because they wanted to use their original characters. Um, which would have been fine, but I don't like Lana. Um, I really, I really don't like her. So... Oh. It kind of goes in her characterization goes into middle school ter territory for me, and it just bothers me. But the game, it's especially if you're like go off with a friend, is so. Much I love playing Zelda. I love playing its Impa. I love playing its speed. Ganondorf is actually really satisfying to play as. Um, but yeah. So, but ultimately, there's just a lot of stupidness in the game that could have been avoided had they just taken a more simple route and just had it be about Ganondorf summoning Zant and Girahim and been like, let's go conquer Hyrule. That's all the game needed to be, but they added all this other stupid stuff. I know this isn't the Keisha talking about Hyrule Warriors show, but I don't care. I will talk about it as much as I can, well, please, because it's a good thing to talk about. Um, on the note of other video games, I've played Smash Brothers. A lot of fun, though there are certain people I don't like playing with, just because people get competitive with it and I just play for fun. That's how I am. That's how I am with Pokemon, too. Like, I don't really play Pokemon. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get some competitive for sure, but I don't go out and see, I don't go and seek battles for the sake of seeking battles. I just play. All the, you know, we shall, maybe it's like, what, an ambush, how do you, oh, it's, am, no, Mark, I forgot, well, you know that tiny little block in the back, it's two people to climb over, oh, cran apples, <laughs> didn't I tell you, dum-dums, back entrance, you may expect me to offer you a chance to join, however, you have annoyed me, <laughs> hope you like to take for my candy, Oh, it's this guy. Fudge. Not again. <laughs> oh my gosh, hopefully I don't break the game. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. <sighs> Darn you and your charm. Why is that super effective? This sounds awesome sped up, by the way. <laughs> I like it better sped up. Why is that so effective? Alright, uh, where 
I guess. Of course you'd endure. Why do you endure? Whatever. Yeah, this sounds awesome sped up. There it goes. Take over the infection wonderland. Just watch. Hi guys. It's been an interesting day. Gangsters rob a manor, then steal from the camp. Hopefully the Pokemon gets calmed down a little while. So Tenji, did you get a badge from the gym? But it could be. I barely got one. Oh, yeah. Never battle right after an afternoon nap. Anyways, up ahead is Orange Gym there. Right that way. See you there. But you're not gonna like heal my team or anything. Screw you. Um. Uh, okay. And it's out. And we're fine. Two episodes later. Okay, let's run around a little bit and see what happens. Oh, there's an item up there. Let's go get it. I got thing. Okay. And here we are in. I don't know, that looks like a good place to call it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, hopefully, these don't take forever to upload and whatnot. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.